If there's one thing that I could suggest that everybody needs to have right about now is a solar powered generator. Now, this one you're looking at is a thousand watt solar power generator, which means that it stores about a thousand watts. And to give you an idea of what that can do, your refrigerator uses about 150 watts per hour. So a thousand watts could run your refrigerator for maybe seven hours, six hours, maybe a little, you know, six to seven hours. Um, now the price on this one for a thousand watt is 460 bucks, but then you need to buy the solar panels, which are another couple few hundred bucks. So for a thousand watts, this one probably be about seven seven hundred eight hundred bucks total but you guys what's coming you know what's gonna come is you know power outages and who knows for how long and i suggest to go solar because if you need gas then obviously you need services and if everything if the grid goes down worst case scenario grid goes down then even getting gas would be tough, but you still have sunlight. So that's why I say solar. Do not, now mark my words, do not get this one. A Patriot. The Patriot one sucks. This one right here, the Patriot, it's a horrible one. And it's really bad. So this, I've looked at professional reviews on it. Now, this brand, I don't know if this is the same brand, but there's a brand called Jackery that's really popular. Um, it's more on the high end, Jackery. This one is um, $357, but they, they run, you know, much more expensive than that, depending on the wattage, how many watts you get. On Get One, now here's a Jackery. Look at this, a Jackery 1000 watt solar generator explorer and two solar saga. Uh, 100 watt panels each now see that that's a good deal right there you got a thousand watts and you got two panels that charge uh at 100 watts per uh whatever like an hour i think i'm not sure probably yeah 100 watts per hour probably so you got 200 watts per hour charging a thousand watts so it take about five hours to charge and you have a thousand a uh, thousand watts and that's only 609 bucks and then that's pretty good. So if you look up things on the internet, like how much this, how many watts does this take to run? Like for instance, a microwave takes a lot from 600 to 1200 watts uh, per hour to run. So a microwave, you don't need to run it for that long. You just need to run it for like, you know, five, 10 minutes at a time. That would be fine. Um, light bulbs, you can get low, low wattage light bulbs, like five watts per hour. Um, the light bulbs that we usually use are like 20 to 50 watts per hour, but you need to get, you can, you can get lower light bulbs. You can charge everything. You're going to need electricity is my point. <clears throat> and I, I'm speaking as a, as an idiot cause I don't have one and it's because I don't have the money for one, but I'm warning you guys that this is what you need at least like a thousand watts and you can run almost everything, even go 1500 watts, but this is a good deal right here. Jackery, that's a very popular brand. But um, even looking in, if you have the money, then go more. You know, and here's another thing about some of them. Some of them, here's a 600 watt continuous to 1200 watt peak. Now, let me teach you guys something here. So when you plug in something like a microwave and, and you first start it, it will peak your thing out. So if it runs at 600 watts, it might peak out for a second at 1200 watts. So sometimes a thousand watt one won't work. So you might need more wattage. Something like this, it says 12, 1200 watt peak. Excuse me, did I say 12,000? I meant 1200. So for instance, when you first turn on the microwave, it's going to shoot up. And if it shoots up past the high wattage on the thing, then it won't work sometimes. But then it goes back down. So this one right here has a 1200 watt peak. So if the microwave shoots up to 1200 and then goes back down to 600 running, 
then this one would work. And it also, this one also is continuous. Uh, so continuous power means that if you're charging it, you can use it at the same time. Some are not continuous. Some you have to charge it and wait and then use it. Continuous is obviously better. Continuous is the best because you can just, as you charge it, use the power right there. Continuous. Okay. And this one, again, is more expensive because it probably has uh, some more options on it. Uh, $936. Uh, 600 watt continuous, 1200 watt peak. Uh, but there's just a lot of different deals. And you want to get continuous. And you want to get, uh, you don't want to get Patriot. But as you can see, there's so many different ones here. Jackery is the most popular. And if I was you guys, I would go on the internet and just look at reviews and learn about them on your own. Uh, but my whole point to this video is that you're going to need power and you're going to need to get power uh, in these scenario, possibly if there's no resources available but the sun. And that is why this is perfect. You don't have to worry about getting gas from somewhere. You get free energy from the sun, charge it during the day. Luckily, we're leaving winter, out of winter pretty much. So we do have the sun. It's not too cold outside. Things won't freeze in most areas of the country of USA. I don't know about around the world. Um, and this is a really good idea, you guys. Um, now... There's one thing that does not work, that will work, but you don't get very much time on it. And that's a heater. Those portable space heaters, any heater runs at about 1,500 watts per hour. So if you have a 1,500 watt uh, solar generator, it will run for an hour. So it's not, not efficient, but we're leaving winter. So that's okay. Now this right, right here... <clears throat> is a gas power generator but again that's a whole different ballpark because a gas power generator you have to worry about getting gas then you have to worry about keeping it outside when you run it because the fumes and then you have to worry about the no or not really worry but you have to deal with the noise um it's very loud and again your your main objective is to be able to get electricity without any uh, resources available, you see, and then make them smaller, Jackery 400 watt. But if you get a 400 watt, I mean, you could charge your cell phone, you could charge little things, maybe run a TV for a couple hours. You know, that's just really small. Um, I would definitely get at least a thousand watts, but I'd I probably recommend 1500. Just because things max out. There's a 2,000 watt Jackery solar generator. Fast charging battery. $2,400 for 2,000 watts. And it looks like you get solar panels with it. Uh, but that's 2,000 watts. Again, 2,000 watts. Your refrigerator runs at 150 watts around. So you get 10, let me 12, about 13 hours to run your refrigerator. And if it's continuous... You can just leave the solar panels outside during the day, hooked up, and continuously run off of the sun. You want to get continuous power. It's definitely something that I learned. Um, and there's just so many brands. There's a lot of things to pick from. Here's an Oops 1,800-watt portable power station. Doesn't look like you get solar panels, but you have it for 600 bucks. And uh, it's better to have these things. And not need them than to need them and not have them. Let me say that again. It's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. And again, I'm a, speaking from an idiotic point of view because I don't have one. But, you know, if I could, I would. And again, you know, you got to look because look at the same deal, 2,000 watts. But... It's more expensive, but I think it's because I give you another solar panel. So, Jackery, like I said, is probably the most popular brand. And then you got, like, uh, Blue Yeti, and Oops is kind of popular, kind of. 
there's a lot. But go on YouTube and do a little research, you know. Make sure to get continuous running power. Make sure to not get the Patriot ones. Um, and make sure you get a deal where you can get the solar panels with it. Make sure solar panels come with it. Uh, and those are just a few things that I could warn you on these. Uh, but again, and and at least, you know, in my opinion, you're going to want at least a thousand watts, you know. Maybe 1500 And if you got money, you get 2000 whatever, you know. It depends how much money you have. But I think they're just the greatest idea for the upcoming events in this interesting end-time scenario that we see. Now, look at this. See? You got a 1,000-watt Jackery, the most popular brand. And then you get... Uh, uh, the, the, uh, as you can see, the solar panels, but it looks like two solar panels there and it's 1299. See, if, if I'd probably get a 1500 watt, myself, but a thousand watts pretty good too. You can run a lot of things for a pretty good long time. Make sure it's continuous. We don't know if this one's continuous. We got to look here. High powered performance, 2000 watt rated output. Oh, it says 2,000 watt, but here it says 1,000. 1,000 plus soldier, I don't know. High powered performance, 2,000 watt rated output and 4,000 watt peak power cable. <coughs> I don't know what's the deal. It says 2,000 here, but it should be 1,000. Just going to have to check it out. Make sure you order from a correct place. You don't get duped. Um... I would order off, I order off walmart.com, it's pretty legit, you know, so again, just warning you guys, letting you guys know a good idea here, solar powered generator with continuous running power so that you can charge it and run it at the same time, make sure to get the solar panels with them. And or you can buy them separate. Just make sure you get the solar panels, the right ones. Uh, you got to get the right wattage. So if a solar panel needs to be a hundred watts only, then you get a hundred watt solar panel, or a two hundred watt solar panel depends on the item you get. Make sure you ma match them right, and do not get the Patriot because it's a horrible one. So. I think this is one, if I could pick one thing to have in the last days, it'd probably be this. Because we use electricity for everything. Alright, thanks for listening.